It's a beautiful brand new day, as Sakodia will say. Hello, thank you very much for always watching Dazi TV. My name is Isaac Dazi. As you can see from the background, you're at the University of Cape Coast campus. Department of Mathematics just had their Dean's Awards night. And I'm come to talk to some interesting students. You know, you know, this subject is a little bit difficult for some ladies, but for them, they were able to pull out. In fact, a lady had 3.9 in mathematics in the University of Cape Coast campus, not other universities. I mean, the University of Competitive Choice. She is overall best female student for that department. So I'll be having a quick interaction with them quickly. But if today's your first time of watching Dazzy TV, make sure you click on the subscribe button and be part of Dazzy TV family. And I have this beautiful young lady here who I'm going to talk to right now. In fact, she, she's beautiful. And Charlie, I'm offering you the album Please join me. Let's have a conversation. I have this beautiful young lady here. You had CDP of what? 3.9. 3.9. Madam, first of all, I mean, uh, uh, come a little bit closer. First of all, let me ask you this. Uh, I mean, your name? I'm Angelica Messi. Angelica Messi. Angelica Messi. So, somebody's watching you right now, I want to know who you are. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, so um, I'm Angelica Messi. I'm a mathematics student in the University of Cape Coast. I'm reading BSc Mathematics with Economics and in level 400. I had my secondary education at uh, Archbishop Potter Girls and then proceeded to the University of Cape Coast. So that's the little information I can give about myself. You know, I think my previous interview that I granted, I, I, I met a Potter girl and today too. I mean, tell us a little bit about the secondary school days. I mean, it's a secondary school that uh, you always claim to be the best senior high school in the Western region, not in Ghana. Uh, yes, um, when it comes to Western region, particularly one of the best uh, girls' school, I would I would be proud to say that that's my school, Archbishop Potter Girls, and we are known for our excellence in uh, in academics in all aspects of life. So yes. Oh, big up to my St. John's boys watching the video right now. Okay. Yeah, St. John's. Yeah, that's our brother school. I mean, they've been fighting with us, and we are cool. Right, you love them. Yeah, big ups to them. Yeah, we love them, of course. Don't worry, you stand test, you rain everywhere, you All right, so quickly, uh, congratulations. It's not that easy to, to achieve that feat in the of Cape Coast. How are you able to do this? Well, in fact, it has never been easy. It is not that easy, I must confess to you. But uh, I, I believe that uh, in, in, in every situation when you, when you are determined and then you focus, you'll be able to meet your target. For instance, uh, coming to this school, starting from level 100, when I came here, the, the perception was that the course is difficult. It was difficult. So I made up my mind, okay, well, if it's difficult, people have made it and all, oh, I can also make it. So my first step, my source of motivation was attending Dean's Award, level 100. That's 2017. I wasn't part then, but I just came there to view what was going on and what was there. I said, I mean, you did not get 3.6 and above in level 100. No, 1100, I started with 3.91. Yes, I started with 3.91. But I mean, when I came to, you know, the Dean's Award will be given to you in the next level, that's 200. But when I came in 100, I came to witness that uh, Dean's Award as of that time. Yeah, so I was there and I said to myself that next year, I want to hear that my name is being mentioned, that Angelica Mesu is going for an award. And that was what I said in my mind and my heart. I was like, okay. Well, I, I can make it. So that has been the inspiration so far up to now. I, I, I mean, I, I know a lot of ladies are home right now because in secondary school, either core math or elective maths, they were not able to make it to the university level. So walk us through the strategy that you use to study mathematics at the University of Cape Coast campus. Okay, now to, to begin with, personally, I had a very bad mathematical background in the um, secondary school. Wow. Yes. I did general art and um, as of the time I was compulsorily being put in the elective math class so I had no option than to take the elective math. Now from there, as I was applying for the courses, in fact I wanted economics but then I looked at the other um, opportunities that was there. UCC was doing mathematics with economics, KNRC was doing just economics. I was like, okay, well, if I can combine maths with it, it's a plus than somebody who just go to the university and do economics. So I decided that, okay, fine, let me take up the mathematics as well. 
I excelled in the SHS elective maths, though it was it was quite somehow. But I, I so that that's what boosted my morale to apply for math to the economics here. So yeah, that that has been the case so far. I mean, uh, um, it's really good that you said that I didn't start very well, but then you have been able to pull up. I mean, let let me ask you this: We have a everybody do have a secret. The way you study your schedule, how I want us to walk us through that. Because for level 100, for you to maintain 3.9 to level 400, come on. I mean, this is an amazing feat. Okay, well, what you're saying is very, very true. That's very true. I don't have any secrets. It's how I started and then the expectation. You know, when you are at the top, people expect you to be there. That's alone encourages you that no you need to put up you need to be on guard because everybody is looking at you you had a 3.91 you need to maintain it so that you could get to that level you want to get to now i have no secrets as i said i plan my time well and try to attend all the lectures it's not everything i understand in the classroom but it's about knowing what to do at what time yes so I don't have any secrets so special from all the other students, but it's like, okay, I'm always um, asking questions from TAs. I'm always searching online. You know, they are not, it's not all the math that we've been taught in class that you could understand. You just go to YouTube, you just type, okay, you want to learn this, it will come. They will teach you, right? Yes, yeah, so I don't have any secrets. It's about time planning and then being focused. You know that this is what you want to achieve. This is what you want to gain. This is the height you want to achieve. So. You forge ahead and then you focus, like I've always said. So determination is one, you focus, the consistency, and then time planning. I mean, that has been my secret, if I should say that I have a secret. All right. I mean, somebody who say that the University of Cape Coast probably don't have a social life. I mean, uh, <laughs> a lady getting 3.9 CGPA, reading mathematics, no other than University of Cape Coast, probably don't have a social life. Let me know. Do you have a social life at all? Because some of these things, I want to tell you that. Of course, I have a social life. I mean, everybody has a social life. Personally, I have. I don't see why studying mathematics should, should be an obstacle from not having a social life. I go out with friends. I, I, I go out, um, attend all forms of programs. So, you see, the notion has been that when you are that kind of bookish, all the time it's about books, books, books. Sometimes you need time to refresh up or, I mean, make time to... Uh, relax your mind some of some forms can be in attending some educative programs attending um well we, we have this arts um college here they they, they always premiere their their movies here theater. yeah theater yeah if i should yeah, first. so you come and watch some of these movies just to while away the time just release stress i have a social life you can ask everybody on campus i do i really do but you have to know how to combine it with your studies. So it shouldn't be one way that you have the social life outweighing the academics. It should be a balanced life. Yes, so. As somebody who say that, man know thyself. If at that time you think that you cannot combine the two, you want to still focus on your books, fine. But for her, upon all this, Charlie, I have a share with your coach, what you say. See, your final word right now, too every lady out there watching us right now yes yeah you, you see the lady i was talking about this is beautiful girl you know beauty with brains you got it yes beauty with brains so finally your final word to somebody who's watching us somebody want to watch you and get inspired and anybody also want to read the same program what are your final word to somebody watching life right now okay so what i would say is that um you see the notion had always been that some courses are meant for men, others are meant for women. I want to um, try and break that analogy. It's never true. Being a lady and then reading mathematics has nothing to do with um, you not being able to do it or you have to be necessarily a man to do the course. I'm not trying to boast or brag, but then it's what I've seen is what I'm seeing. When you put your mind at it and then you focus, you'll be able to make it. And then I want to also say that it's not only about mathematics. Mathematics is not only the program here, but then any program at all. In fact, the notion had always been the sciences is meant for the men and not for the women. But I want to say that reading mathematics is, is kind of fun. 
it's interesting and as sometimes it confers some dignity when you are a woman and you could excel that much the, the men would be there looking at you you are a woman and you are doing mathematics they are marveled so i want to encourage most of them the females that yes they should come and then take up those courses they are quite interested you you you, you become so distinct from the ordinary especially when you're a woman and you're reading such a course so i want to put it out there and across to everybody that if you're a female please don't be scared don't be worried um, I mean, have confidence and, as I always say, be determined in what you want to achieve and you can make it. So, my final words to everybody. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Congratulations. So, there you heard from her. In fact, it's not, it's not an easy feat to achieve. Most importantly, in the University of Cape campus, reading mathematics. So, I will still continue to talk to another lady who also had 3.9. Trying to get in touch with her. You know, yes, um... Yes, she had 3.9. I think I have to talk to her right now. Yes, as you can see, some, somebody will tell you that easy student. Yes, no, I don't. Uh, I, I mean, somebody said that they are watching you and they want to see your face. So, can you just unmask for them to see you? Yes, you see, you see what I'm talking about. If you are watching this video right now and you think that easy students are not beautiful, look at this lady over here. She's beautiful, she has the brain 3.9. How are you able to do this? Tell me. Oh, it's just you being hardworking. And then it's you coming from your home to this place. It's because of academic work. So you don't have to let your social life or any other thing come in between your academic work. You have to make sure you learn hard what you are being taught. To make sure you learn it and you understand it very well. Because easy see, people say easy see is hard, hard. It's not like it's hard though. It's just they don't understand what they learn. And easy see too, when you are giving exams, it's not about what is on the slide. It's about how you understand the thing and you are able to provide it. That's right. it, it, that one was... So let me uh, come a little bit closer. Let me ask you this. Uh, I mean, your food and where you started from and probably your educational background, your SHS. I mean, tell us more about that. Probably somebody's watching right now. Maybe you all attend the same SHS. He or she will take inspiration from where you're coming from. Okay. I'm Matilda Amu. I attended Statra Basic School in Swahim. And then from there, I went to Agbisho Potage Senior High School, Takrade. Yeah, yeah. Come, 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 come. I, I mean, stand here. <laughs> I think I have to do something right now. What do you want to do? Easy. All of them went to protest. The two. Yeah. You got it. Hey. Oh, oh yeah. I know Marian. Um, yes, Marianne is going to watch, Bridget is going to watch, Jacqueline is going to watch, Ruth is going to watch. Uh, in fact, the name is endless. So, please, let's go. But they can't so, be saying anything about us. Can okay, so say something. Okay. <laughs> All right, so, okay. You guys, you say something about, about your school. school. <laughs> okay, so one, the, the best, and I quote, the best, fi no, girls, Secondary school in uh, in Western region. Yes. I thank God they are using Western region, not in Ghana. No, I need to say that before some people will come and attack me, right? Yeah, so I have to protect my my, my territories now. And then um, we are secondly known for achieving um, high academic excellence. I mean that's that's one of our, our key attributes for the school. Again, we are very, very well trained and then disciplined. I mean, when you want to talk about discipline, Archbishop Potter girls, you can't take Archbishop Potter girls senior high school out of discipline. Yes, so these are some of the three attributes I can give to my school as I stand now. Yes. So you see, my Potter's girls watching this video right now, if, if, we're, if we're in JHS, you want to go to the best senior high school in the Western region, I mean, in the Western region, go to Potter's. But the best high school in Ghana is at this other college. Yes. No doubt about that. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't argue with you now because it's, it's, it's um, mm -hmm. we are not talking about ourselves and then how we've been able to yes. achieve this. So, in fact, when we go behind the camera, mm -hmm. yes, then we can argue very well. All right, so thank you very much. You also want to protest. All right, so let's continue the conversation here. I mean, like I, how are you able to protest? Is that something special to teach you over there for you to know mathematics? Oh, it's it's like we have a good we have good teachers there. We have good teachers there, and then they train us in such a way that you wouldn't go and play there. You get it? 
we we make sure we learn very well and then the teachers too whenever you have a problem you go to them they make sure they help you out and i think it should be enough for you to pass like if you're really a serious student you should be able to pass and you have 3.98 yeah. 3.98 madam charlie my brother three requirement do order so it depends on how you learn here and maybe how you let other things affected your studies or other things Ah, okay, so now when you started, did you start with 3.9 level 100? Oh, <laughs> I started with 4.0. 4.0? Um, hello? <laughs> she had 4.0 in level 100. Mathematics student. Wow. And what happened now 3.98, level 300? Oh, I had a B plus in one of my courses. That was before the COVID break. Yeah, I had one a, a B plus in one of the courses. Do you think the COVID also affected you? Oh, not as in the COVID uh, season, the uh, semester before the COVID season, yeah. And every semester I get 4.0, 4.0. Yeah, it was only that semester that I had, I think, 3.96, yeah, for that semester. The semester I had a B plus. Madam, my ladies out here want to know your secret. Tell them something. How were you able to do this? Madam, it's, it's not anything serious. It's all about you having, like, being serious with studies and maybe you have to persevere you get and i had always been at the top since basic school so i don't have to drop you get it you have to be at the top always so it's not like you having the notion that mathematics is difficult like many people have phobia in yes, towards yeah. mathematics yes, like okay. they think mathematics is a very difficult subject so they have people will be asking you i want to be like you i want to learn something from you how you manage to pull all this out. Let them know the way you study. So if you're watching right now, you also want to be a mathematician, or you want to read any other course in the university, probably you can also learn from her. Okay, for, okay, for me personally, after every lecture, I read my notes, and if I don't understand anything, I'll go to YouTube, Google, uh, type anything I want to uh, watch a video on, then maybe I'll watch the video, or maybe go to friends if I have any problem with any of the course i go to them and i make sure i understand what i learn that's the key thing if you don't understand what you learn you can learn and learn and then and they will ask you a question and you wouldn't get anything to say yeah so you have to make sure you understand what you learn and then you don't have to let other things affect your studies you have to other things like academic, like maybe your social life you have to put academic first in everything you do because that's the main reason why you're here so you make sure you do that work before you consider any other things everybody has a social life or do but you have to make sure you do what is expected of you in school you get all right according to you you have to do what is expected of you i'm very proud of you i'm really really proud of you for achieving that feat it's not that easy in ucc here so all that i can say to you that congratulations keep it up and make sure that you don't you don't need to drop again you have to keep moving and you're very proud of you congratulations thank you so thank you very much for watching dazi tv this has been the exclusive interview with some of the awardees from mathematics department that's the dean's awards night and i think that this is the best initiative for the university just to reward students for their hard work as one lady said she was saying level 100, she witnessed the event and she decided to study and that's how she managed to get a 4.3.98. So please, God bless University of Kikus and the very department that have initiated this wonderful award to our students. So thank you very much for watching Dazi TV. My name is Isaac Dazi. I'm reporting live from University of Kikus campus. If today is your first time, please make sure you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on all the social media platforms at Dazi TV. You'll come your way some other time. Once again, my name is Isaac Dazi. Oh, they say, eh, nan, sha. Or see, be nan, bia. Hmm, see, nan, sha. Oh, fans, je, di, nan, di. What I say, kwami, you got in your video, rap, comedy, bibi, be, see, what I say, keep watching Dazi TV. Bye.